I'm guessing you're unsure whether to choose aerospace engineering or mechanical engineering at university. Well, I'm here to explain some of the similarities and differences between these courses to help you make that decision. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Saga and I graduated with a first class master's degree in aerospace engineering from the University of Sheffield in the UK. So what are the similarities between aero and mech? In both degrees, you do actually cover quite a lot of the same topics. And these topics are electronics, control systems, statics and dynamics, fluid dynamics, materials, heat transfer, computational fluid dynamics, finite element analysis, maths, propulsion and thermodynamics. As you can see, there is actually quite a lot of overlap when it comes to the core subjects of each degree. So ultimately, it doesn't really make a massive difference whether you choose to study mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering. My personal opinion of which degree you should choose to study is very much dependent on what you like to build or what you want to build in the future. So if you do want to go down the route of building aircraft and spacecraft, then go and choose aerospace engineering. But if you want to build things like trains and mechanical machines, then go down the route of mechanical engineering. Okay, I know you're probably dying to hear what the differences between the courses are, so let's go straight into that. Aerodynamics, aircraft dynamics and control, radar and navigation are subjects and modules that are not generally taught in mechanical engineering, but are very much taught in aerospace engineering. And some things that are taught in mechanical engineering, but not in aerospace engineering are things like tribology, petroleum engineering, nuclear reactor engineering, automotive powertrains, and energy and power. As you can pretty much tell from this video, there is not a whole lot of differences between mechanical and aerospace engineering. And in fact, I would say that if your interests go down the route of building things that are highly dependent on aerodynamics, such as planes, rockets, or Formula One cars, choose aerospace engineering and if not then go down the route of mechanical engineering because those I think are the main differences between the two degrees. So I hope this video has helped you try and collate the differences between the degrees and ultimately hopefully it's helped you make a decision on whether you want to study aerospace engineering or mechanical engineering. Wait, 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 before you click off this video, if you want to study aerospace engineering, I have a basic video that covers what kind of things you will be learning throughout the degree. So make sure you click this button here, or not this button, but this video here, and it will take you straight there.